Hey, welcome to vb8tutorialcode.com. In this video lesson, I'll show you how to use the Visual Basic Editor in Excel 2007, 10, and 13. I'm in Excel 2013 now, so just press File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and check Developer and press OK. Up here in the ribbons, you can see the Developer tab, and you press on it and then click View Code. And this is the Visual Basic Editor here. I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel 2007 and 2010. So you press File, Options, Popular, and then Show Developer tab in the ribbon. You check that off and press OK. And that's how you do it in those Excels. So you get the same result. Press Developer, View Code. You can also press Alt F11 as a shortcut. Uh, so if your screen doesn't look like this, let's just close that out. Just press View and Project Explorer. This is the Project Explorer. And uh, this has the workbook that we're in, Book 1, and it has the sheet in this uh, workbook object called sheet one as you can see we're in book one is the workbook and sheet one is the sheet in book one i'm going to add another sheet sheet two now you can see this in the project explorer sheet two is over here so if i press view and properties window you can see the properties uh, for the different objects you could also see properties for modules or user forms or other objects here and uh Say if it's not snapped in place, you could double click it and it'll snap in place. If it's not snapping in place properly, just drag it on top of VBA project and it'll put it right there. You could switch them around if you want, if you don't like the order, just drag it right over the top. So this name right here, uh, let's see, is uh, before I go into like property sheet, I'm just going to press uh, insert and module. This creates a module right here in uh, the project explorer, you can see it. You just double click on it to access it and uh, all modules they start uh, like sub and then just like some random name like mm, and then open and close uh, brackets uh, so as you see there, there aren't really any properties for module just the name of it and you can change the name down here to whatever you want it to be it's just the the name that's uh that gets that shows over here so I'll just change that to blah and you can see it's blah now over here but I'm just gonna switch that back to module one just so you can see just keep the same name module one so let's say sheet one we'll change sheet one to to be Bob and you can see in product explorer change Bob over here and it's still actually called uh, sheet one on the worksheet on the workbook uh, you can see sheet one is here and sheet two is there and say inside this module if I did uh, bob.select let me actually just okay so you can see over here sheet 2 is selected so let me just make the screen smaller so right now I'm gonna execute this module 1 and it's actually gonna select sheet 1 because Bob is sheet 1 so that's how you select a worksheet uh, from a module and uh, I just pressed F8 to step through the code. When you press F8, it just stops at every individual line of code. And every time you press F8, it goes to the next line of code. So uh, let's say I wanted uh, like sheet two uh, to be selected. So right here, I'm going to do over here. It's going to select sheet Bob and then sheet sheet two dot select. It's going to select sheet two. So every time you press F8, it just goes through each line of code. Or you could just press it really fast and press play up here. This is the play button or F5 and it'll just play from top to bottom. All VBA code executes from top to bottom. That's how all VBA code is. And uh, if you ever want to, like uh, while you're stepping through code, if you ever want to get out of it, you just click reset up here and that'll exit out of uh, executing the code. So, uh, let me just go over here and I'm just going to change uh, Bob back to sheet one. So it's still sheet one over here. But if I change the name down here to be Bob, you can see over here the name of sheet one was changed to Bob. So now I'm actually going to get an error when I step through the code because sheet one's code name isn't Bob anymore right here. So here's an error message in VBA. You could either debug, which will bring you to the line of code that has an error, or you could press end, and it'll just, it's basically the same thing as pressing reset. And uh, 
that's how you uh, troubleshoot errors and find errors in your code while you're running the code. So, uh, being that I changed uh, sheet one's actual name to Bob, this is how you have to reference uh, the sheet now. So it'll be worksheets Bob dot select. This is how you reference the name of the worksheet, and Bob dot select is how you select the name of the code sheet. So this name up here is the name of the code sheet, and this name down here is the name of the worksheet. So this is how you select the name if Bob. If Bob at the top, like this name right here, is when you use this Bob dot select, but this name down here is when you do worksheets Bob dot select, and uh, let me just uh, I guess show you this one. So F eight F eight worksheets Bob dot select. It's gonna select Bob. All right. So that's basically the properties uh, tab. Like uh, whatever object you currently have highlighted, you can see the properties for it. Say if we were to create a user form, you can see the properties for this user form over here. You can see all this, all these different things. I go into that in more detail in my uh, user form video. I recommend you watch that. Uh, user form enables people to interact with it. The coolest thing about it, I guess, let me just go to uh, view and here is the toolbox. You click uh, view and let me close out the toolbox toolbox and you could add like different buttons over here and people could actually click on these buttons and it'll execute your code in case they're unaware of how to use a VBA but I'm just gonna remove this user form for now and I'm gonna press no because I go into that in more detail in some other video and I got more important things to show you right now in the visual basic editor this is visual basic editor video so you press tools and options over here in docking uh, this is how you dock uh, like these specific windows so here's the project explorer over here here's the properties window over here and uh, you can dock all the different windows like the the locals window the watch window those are useful for debugging I go into that in more detail in my debugging video I honestly don't even really use them being that over here on the general tab you see show tooltips check that off that is very important I like to use the tooltips Say uh, you're declaring a variable. This is how you declare a, a variable that is only going to be used in this specific module. And uh, just dim uh, blah as integer. And we're going to set blah equal to 1. So if you press F8 over here, blah is currently 0. But once it gets past this line code, blah is actually going to be 1. Um, so you see this little yellow box that says blah equals one. Whenever you hover over a variable, you can see its current value where you are in the code while you're stepping through it while pressing F8. Uh, so that's what a tooltip is. And that's what we just enabled by clicking show tooltips in this screen. Uh, let me just get back to it. Go to tools, options, general, and show tooltips. That's how you could see like the variable name, uh, the variable value just by highlight. Uh, just by hovering your mouse over it. Alright, uh, so another useful thing over here, if you click uh, editor format, you can change the size of the font in VBA. That's pretty useful in case uh, you have a hard time seeing. And uh, you can change like the different uh, the different font types for different things. So, like your comment text, uh, here's how you leave a comment. Like if you are like trying to keep track of what you're doing, so like the below code sends an email to someone in VBA. That's how you uh, write like a comment kind of thing. You just put a single quote right there, and then this code it doesn't actually interrupt anything. It's just for yourself. It's just uh, kind of like writing notes to yourself while you're writing your programs because some of these programs can be really big and you need to be able to keep track of stuff so if you wanted to change comment stuff to instead of being green it's red now so it's red uh but yeah so if, like say if you wanted to like uh let's see say you wanted to set a, like a stop point in your code you just uh basically click over there and then let's just press play 
and it'll stop exactly at that line of code and won't actually execute that line of code. So this is a message box. It's actually going to say basically whatever blah is. So blah is equal to one. So there we go. Just It'll just say it. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to show you how to reference another module from the first module. So let's just make this one called like sub uh, mixer open quotes and uh, let's just say you know how like uh, this this variable it's only going to be used in this module so I'm going to just do a uh, public variable so public uh, blah as integer and we're just gonna set blah equal to one here and then in this one we're gonna just do a this is module two you just double click on a module to enter it and enter the code um, so I'm just going to do a message box here and it'll just say blah and uh, over here in module one I'm just gonna do something called call mixer and uh, so mixer up here is the name of the sub procedure in module 2 so it's gonna call that sub procedure so if I press F8 F8 so blah is gonna equal 1 here and then it calls mixer it goes to mixer and then it's just message box blah and being that blah is a public variable that variable is also uh, can also be referenced by module 2 it's pretty useful I'm just gonna press stop here and exit this code um, let's see if you want to remove module, you just click on it and click remove module and then no. And uh, you can do the same thing with different sheets and stuff. Another important thing, I guess, let's say like this workbook. Say you click right here and then you go to workbook. And then these are different events that you could do for whenever certain actions happen. So say if like whenever this workbook opens, you want to be reminded about a holiday or something, you could just like have like 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 a set of ranges like range a1 dot value equals blah and uh, let's say like blah is the holiday like whatever holiday it is and uh, yeah so basically the like whenever this workbook opens, this is actually what happens when this workbook opens. So I'm just going to do like message box, enter, blah. And uh, so when this actual workbook opens, it's going to say enter blah. So I'm just going to save this workbook down right now onto my computer. Just to prove that that's what it actually does. So go to desktop, uh, save, it'll be called book one uh, so I'm just press no so whenever you save a VBA code kind of thing in the developer tab you want to save it as an Excel macro enabled workbook Excel macro enabled workbooks are instead of dot XLS or dot XLSX it's called dot XLSM uh, so I'm just gonna click save and that's how you save a macro enabled workbook and I'm gonna close it out and I'm just gonna go over here and go to desktop and date modified click right here so it's a uh, as you see it's a macro enabled uh, workbook right here so you could just uh, close that out oh yeah so here's the message box enter blah so as you can see when the workbook was actually opened it uh, it actually did exactly what we said it would do uh, so you can get code to execute just when the workbook opens by itself uh, just just based on the fact that the workbook was opened um, so over here you could do uh, like a sheet activate like whenever a certain sheet is activated uh, like you could have certain code execute and like whatever you want it to do uh, if you go over here like uh, whenever like a window is resized you could have something happen like for pivot tables like whenever the value changes you could have something happen uh, like you could have like a sheet before double click so like whenever the sheets clicked but not double clicked it will have like it'll execute code 
uh, before saving a file you could have something before printing you could you could have messages for anything really uh, these are just messages or whatever code you want to execute at that point whenever this event happens uh, so those are events in uh, the Visual Basic Editor. Those are pretty useful. Uh, I use them for people who don't know how to actually enter the Visual Basic Editor and they're running my programs and I just tell them to open the, the workbook and then it runs my code so I don't have to do anything. Um, let's say run over here. This has like play, reset, same kind of buttons that are up there. You can actually see uh, the play button and all that stuff just go to customize and like you click run here and uh, this will just add the command to a toolbar up here you just drag it over here and that's how you add like the different uh, like commands and stuff like if you're missing it or whatever you can just add it there and uh, that's basically how you do that if uh, you're missing stuff from this toolbar you can just do that and uh, I mean that's basically it's a pretty like basic level I guess um, for the visual basic editor uh, let's see that's, a, that's, yeah, that's basically it